Didn't see this. <laughs> Even from watching YouTube videos, the you know, box toys are uh, going to get a good sell through rate, basically. It's a game. You know what I'm all right, guys, let's quickly set this video up. I often get messages on my Instagram for private pick opportunities, and uh, the couple that we've got today is Jesse and Sharon. Now, Sunshine Coast based, it's actually a mother in law, son in law combination, which is really unique, and they've got aspirations to be full time resellers. Some of the nicest people I've ever met were able to cruise up to the Sunshine Coast, myself and my really good friend Senya, and uh, we grabbed a whole heap of cool stuff. So, in this video, I'm going to take you through that private pick opportunity, show you what I bought it for, and then we're going to come back here and I'm going to show you what those items are or at least some of those items are gonna go on to sell for on eBay and just how much money we might be able to make. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Yeah, guys, you got a few up. Yeah, yeah, really. That's really good. Yeah. Is there anything that you like to really get into and, and uh, find? Like are you probably anything sport really? Yeah, well you're yeah. Like similar to me. So uh, are you cool if we just start putting some yeah. stuff maybe on this table yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. We do maybe a senior table and a table for me. Yeah. Yeah, and then fine. just like work on class after. Yeah. Just trying to work out where to start. Maybe what from one here? corner. Yeah, because we've got all the video games here. And then we've got DVDs there and there. What about if we just do what we normally do? DVD, shoes, clothes. Didn't see this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not sure if they work, but um. Even for parts, that'd be yeah. that'd be decent. Is that a op shop find or something? Was it? No, nah, my my personal. Had since um yeah, the late nineties. That was your personal. And you've even got these as well. Have you got many um, Game Boy games? Nah, I sold them all pretty much. Yeah, I was going to say, they'd, they'd go pretty quick. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, all the consoles, I'm just going to work on a price with you later. I'll put that to the side because yeah. I love all that sort of stuff. Have you done much thrifting on the Gold Coast? Yeah. I think we're pretty lucky to have a ton of off shops, mm. right? Like, we just seem to have, like, having a look in the Lula Bar just before. We, yeah, we kind of have. Prices have gone up over the last six months. Yeah. Have you felt that here? Yeah. 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 We just had uh, had some lunch, nice. so yeah. Yeah, the beach oh, bar the and. Do you use Facebook Marketplace much? Yeah, Marketplace I do, but I get a few. Oh, you do with Marketplace, don't you? All right, so I think we've done um, done all the video games. I've looked out that pile over there that we were looking at before, and I think we're going to now jump into these DVDs. With these DVDs, is it, um, have you got TV seasons and movies? Um, is there any order to that? Pretty much. All movies. Movies. TV shows. TV, yeah. So I already know that Park and Door, I know that's a good one. After doing this for a little bit, you start to pick up on TV shows that you just know. This one here, Raw Hide. We know that's a good one as well, so we'll be taking that. Um, do some comps on these. You get smart here as well, so there's some really good shows. Because we all started generalist, didn't we? Oh, yeah. And then we've all niched down, like, I did glassware, books. I bought like, everything. Everything. Because everything. you don't know what you enjoy. Yeah. You don't know what's going to be plentiful of. Yeah. And then you've gone down into media, essentially. Mm. You've still got shoes and hats, and then I've gone down more into just clothing, and I'm trying to get rid of everything else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's what you enjoy as well. Yeah, definitely. Like, you don't enjoy clothing that much, do you? Oh, I just find clothing really fiddly. And then I don't enjoy media that much. Yeah. Because of the way we list. Yeah, yeah. It's really weird because what sells well for you might not sell well for me. Like, we were in a thrift store, and Matt was like, oh, my God, look at these new jeans. And I was like, I can't even sell brand new ones <laughs> that I got for six bucks at TK Maxx. Yeah. I am buying, like, 
there's no point in buying pre owned if I can't even sell brand new, you yeah. know? Yeah, it's so true. And it's cheap. Like, they're brand new, they're like 150 I've only got them for like $40 and I still can't sell them. Yeah, but okay. he, you were saying what? You sell them all day, every day? Yeah, I, the brand new is a really good one for me. I don't know why it just turns over better, but yeah, Senya was saying that it was tough for her. Really good. They're old school, and they've got really cool clothing. And you know. Yeah. What's the best thing you've ever found? We did find this picture. We googled that. Is this the map over here? Yeah, Jesse found yeah. that. Where'd you find that? In an old shed at a friend of mine. She said, "Go through the shed and take anything you want." Oh, it's a Disneyland. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. And people actually collect maps. Anaheim, California. That is massive. Oh wow! Is that an original? Yeah. Oh, that was so well. What's um? What would that be worth? Do you think? Do you know? Well, we actually had a look at some, and they're up, like they're up there. They're up around like five and a half. Hey, we found one. Five and a half thousand dollars. Yeah, that was when we first got it. Jeez. But we don't really. We have never really put it out there, have you? Oh, I tell you what. I'll know through the chat. Um, Jesse's got a really good idea. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
tools and everything yeah. they talk about coding and well I'm all about the generation that's why I love all yeah. this and I was never into it so I was just wow watching a YouTube video of Gary yeah. Vee and he was like you can just flip because I didn't work for a long time I worked for yeah. a firm I'm like Gary yeah. G-A-R-Y-V-E-E oh yeah I was in the chat nice and I was like I'm going to try it I've got nothing to lose I'll just go to some free school I didn't even know like I was telling that when we met a year ago I was like I didn't even know I thought a lot of people um, shop at yeah. secondhand shops. Like, yeah. My girlfriend used to work at the one at Richardor in the um, background, like going through the sorter, she was called. So cool. And um, she found. Yeah, it's sort of one of those like Teletubbies. I don't really know what to look for when it comes to to VHS. I think these old school ones are, are better. Yeah. But you, I mean, I'd have to just simply comp them all up, and I probably just wouldn't wouldn't bother with it. Um, unless there was any, oh, I think horror. Do you have any horror? Um, big jaws. Yeah, no, it's all right. Oh no, that's fine, mate. That is fine. I can't thank you enough. This has been literally. You got Hannibal. Might might comp up Hannibal and see if it's worth anything. And like, I loved it and everything, but then I had to get back to reality. I don't want to be in you know in my sixties or whatever and. Just all right, Jesse. Uh, we've we have raided, we have raided this garage, yeah, sure. and I've got a number of, I've got a number of obviously media. Um, we had a look and we found all these toys as well, which I think are pretty cool, and I like the box toys, so I put them into the mix as well. Um, some shoes, some consoles, some hats, but. I've, you may have seen a couple of other private picks. When we go through the price points, more for the viewers of the channel, I like to break it into the different categories. Yep. Um, so I think if we started with, well, I class like video games and DVDs, it was all the same thing. Yep. Um, so from a price perspective, I'm actually, if you're happy with five bucks a video game, yeah. I can look out all the, all the video games in this stack and we can go up five, yeah. kick things off. So out of that, we've got Skate, Nintendo DS, I haven't really comped too many of these. This one, Dukes of Hazard, I would assume would be good. I think it's the only PlayStation 1 game you had. Mm, yeah. 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 Um, that's a Blu-ray. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve, five, sixty bucks. So we've got sixty dollars on these video games, which I think are all going to be pretty decent. So, six, uh, so 60 bucks so far. Might get you guys to keep track of the count. Because there's so much here, we're going to be we're going to be counting for a while. Well, I haven't... I'm important now. Yeah, you can, you can run the calculator for me. Um, now, talk to me about these, mate, because I don't know... I, don't, I truly don't know too much about the toys. I just, I'm grabbing them because they're boxed. Um, what, maybe what's some background on these? Where'd you find them? Um, just some guy was selling a bulk a lot. Yeah. And um, yeah, I was just grab them all. Grab them all. Because boxed. Box, bulk, lot. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, have you got a price in mind? Are you happy to clear them out on? Um, I don't truly know what they're worth, but I like them. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What do you reckon, box? <laughs> yeah, have some input. What do you guys reckon? I've got one. Let's do the box ones first. I've got three, six boxed. Yeah. You can call them out. <laughs> call them out. <laughs> what do you got? What do you reckon? I don't know. I'm open to negotiate with you guys. Maybe... $5 a box? <laughs> 5 bucks a box? Yeah, $5 bucks a box. So we'd have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, say 35 with these two? Yeah. Let's call it 100 actually with the games. So 40 all up. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So we've got 100 bucks. <laughs> we've got those numbers? Yeah. Good, good. <laughs> you guys are kings of negotiating. Uh, uh, <laughs> I like the, um, I like the, there was a, there was a cheeky one of these before. It was like... <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> nah, scream them out. Let me know your numbers. I want it to be a fair, a fair win for all of us. Let's do some shoes. These are good shoes. You know that, Solomon's. Yeah. What do you reckon? Um, ten dollars. Okay. Yeah. Happy with that. Ten bucks. Happy with ten. Yeah. Um, these. Um, ten. Ten. Happy with that. Yep. One hundred and twenty a lot. Um, okay. Let's let's have a look at these. Now talk to me, because we didn't talk before, you were reckoning 
Uh, you were saying that the, this you think was for parts. Yeah, for parts, yeah. So you yeah, don't reckon it's... Um, we did put batteries in there, but it wasn't turning on. It wasn't turning on there. Okay. Because, um, yeah, someone can fix it probably, so I reckon I could still grab it and sell it for parts. Yeah. Um, and then do these work? Um, yeah, pretty much the same thing. So you reckon they're all for parts? Yeah, turn, I'm pretty sure. Does it turn on? I don't even know how to turn on one of these ones. Side. That's a decent start. Right, so shoot me a number. Uh, 15 for the lot. About 20 for the lot. 20? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five and 20. Yeah. Five and Yeah. You got a game in here. There's a game in here. Oh. <laughs> this is Do you notice that? Ooh, Pokemon? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Said you were shaking the camera. Uh, we've got black bass. We've got black yeah. bass. You can keep black bass because it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. That's good. Five each. So what are we up to? Uh, 140 all up. We're up to some hats. Now I've grabbed... Oh, I really like this. This is a little kid's yeah. hat. This is a sweet hat. You bought it for a dollar at Lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll pay you more for that because it's a cool hat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this one here, I really like the uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. That was embroidered. Mm. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And then these are a couple of sport new eras that I really love as well. So they, they should sell pretty well. Um, would you go five a piece on those? Yeah. Yeah, happy to do that. Happy to do that. Yeah. So another 20 bucks. Another 20. 20 bucks on the hats. Awesome. Um, <laughs> are you having fun? <laughs> I'll have a fun. I guess to do this all the time. This is really cool. We'll do both the table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, um, all right, we need to probably sift through this a little bit because we've, um, we've got quite a bit. I just want to grab the box sets because I'll do them separately for you. Ideally, I'll be looking to do, if we added all up for these individual ones at two bucks a piece, yep. um, it is typically how I like to do it. The box sets, I'd probably work with you on maybe comping a few up to see, but it'd be anywhere between sort of five... 10 McLeod's is obviously a big one, so I'd probably look to pay a little bit more for that because yep. that, that comps up well. Yeah, um, like Friends is like a $50 one, I'd be looking at 10 bucks on that sort of yeah. a, a yeah, scenario. Whatever, whatever you normally pay. Um, so we can add up maybe. Do you want to count for me all of those? Because they'll be the $2 ones, and then we'll look at some fives and tens out of all of this. How many you got? Uh, 37. 37, so 60, 74, so 75 bucks. Yep. Yeah, 75. 75 on those. So we'll go 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, and then 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Yep. So 80 there and 75 there, 155 for the DVDs. Yes, so but how much was for the other stuff? I've lost the price. For all of this? Yeah, remember? The, the, I think it was 160. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 160 and 175 yeah. works us out to... 315. 315. Yeah. You happy? Yeah, happy. 315? Yeah. yeah. We've got a deal. That's brilliant. <laughs> that's brilliant. Unreal, mate. That's, um, that's epic. Well done, Jim. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 315 dollars. And honestly, this is the exact sort of stuff that I look for and try to sell. So yeah. this is going to get me through probably arguably a week's worth of listings. So oh, okay, wow. That's why I like to come out and do these private I'm picks because you. you get a whole week's worth of yeah. You don't have to go to the thrifts. Yeah. Really, really cool. I'm really proud of yous. Yeah, no. no it's thanks unreal. For thanks for getting us out here and letting us have a look. No, yeah. no thank you. So there you go, guys. That was a whole lot of fun. A big thank you to Jesse and Sharon for allowing us to uh, cruise up to the sunny coast and pick some really awesome items. I want to take you through a few of the ones that I think are my favorites from the day, and I just want to show you how much they can go on to sell for on eBay, so let's have a quick look. So the first one that I wanted to have a look at here is this Salomon running shoe that I found. It's a trail running hiking shoe and it's the XA Pro 3D. And uh, this one goes for about 80 to $120 in pre-owned condition. So an awesome shoe for you guys to be finding. This one here is in excellent condition and I should be able to get upwards of 80 to $100 for it. So that was an awesome start when I saw that one there. Um, I wanted to have a chat about all of these consoles as well though. Um, this. Uh, Game Boy Advance SP, that one actually turns on and plays. I've put a game in there and it actually does test and work. So 
Uh, these you can turn up for about $120 to $140. And I will talk about the screen having a bit of an issue there when you turn it on, but that was actually an awesome find. And as well as this Game Boy as well, the Game Boy Color. Um, this one doesn't turn on. I don't have a charger to see if it works. So even for parts, you could be selling this for about 80 bucks. So that was an awesome find as well. And then these two here, look, they're not. there's not too much money in them. This Nintendo DS here, um, it doesn't turn on. There is some power issues with it, but you can sell it for about $40 for parts. So I knew that I had to pick that one up. And then this one here was an interesting one. It's actually the IQ DS Lite. So it's a, a Chinese version of the Nintendo DS. And there's no real comps on eBay for this one, but I'm just going to give it a bit of a go and we'll put it up for parts and just see what we can get. Hopefully, $40 similar to this one here. So some awesome money in technology like this, just some old school gaming consoles. You don't see it all the time. It's quite difficult to find. So even for parts, I had to grab it. Now, the video games uh, didn't comp out for too much more than about $20, $25 a piece. So 12 of those video games wasn't too bad of a purchase, but I do like to find these DVD box sets. And these are a couple of good ones that we're able to find. So uh, the first one here, upstairs, downstairs, every single episode, uh, that one goes for about $40. Um, we've got the Misfits here. This was a complete series. I always look for this. Um, so complete series, one to five, that's about 40 bucks there as well. But this one was a really, really interesting one that I did not, I, I didn't know about this one. I did a bit of a comp and I saw that it was worth about $50. The Complete Tales of the City, a three series box set. So that was really exciting to see. 50 bucks for that one there as a box set. Um, and all of these other DVDs should do pretty well. You're going to be talking anywhere between sort of $20 to $30. Uh, for a bundled set of that. So once you take out fees and postage, we should be pretty much getting most of our money back on these items right here. And then all the rest of it today should be profit. I will say really quickly too, the McLeod's Daughters DVDs that I picked up as well, the box set usually sells for about $100, but I'm missing two discs. So I've just gone back to Jesse and Sharon and just asked to see in their other spares of McLeod Daughters that they had, uh, whether or not those discs were available to be sent through to me. And if we can get them, then that's another $100 worth of McLeod's Daughters, a big Bolo DVD for you guys to be looking out for. Um, unfortunately, the uh, wrestling figure action figures and the Barbie doll action figures, they don't really comp up for too much money, so I'll just be working on making a few dollars on those ones there. I thought there might have been a few more dollars in them, but unfortunately, not on this occasion. So look, ultimately, it was just a really fun day to be out there and, and just sourcing through private pick opportunities. If you've got a private pick opportunity that you'd like me to come out to and just say hello and go through some stuff and clean out some of the stuff you've got lying around the house, uh, let me know on Instagram at the Aussie Flipper. Um, I'm definitely looking for these opportunities, uh, whether it be Northern New South Wales uh, or in sort of like Southern uh, Queensland region. So um, shoot me a note, let me know, shoot me some photos, then we might be able to make it work. But appreciate you being here, guys. Uh, I'll leave you with this video right here, which was another private pick that we did with Laura uh, in the same region on the Sunshine Coast just a few weeks ago. And I spent a lot of money in that video and found a lot of cool items. So go and check it out. Appreciate you being here. We'll see you soon.